Yeah, it's just second, sweetie. I don't know if you can see, but I probably have all allergy marks right here from her touching me. It's okay. Hey, piggy people. So I am just doing nightly routine here, just tidying up the herd's cage. And I thought I would update you guys about Apple. So it's been a week and three days since she had her procedure done. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, up in the iCards, you can go check out that video. So she had her procedure done on a Monday. And it was a fairly rocky recovery for the first 24 hours. Like, she definitely needed a lot of help from me to be eating and drinking. So it was a little stressful. But luckily she was getting better every day. And by the Saturday, it was the first time she peed without being in pain. And it was the first day where she didn't have an absolutely soaked bum. So Saturday and Sunday were awesome days. And then Monday was a bad day. She was back to having a soaked bum, back to peeing in pain. And she was really grumpy. And that took, that went on to the next day as well. So Tuesday, she was also not feeling normal. So I was really discouraged at the time, thinking, oh no, like what the heck's going on? Here I was thinking that we were all good. But thankfully by Wednesday, when it was our recheck day, so when your pig goes through surgery at my vet clinic, they have a free checkup, like usually scheduled for a week later. So Wednesday we went in for that and she was feeling better. And I talked to my vet about, you know, how her recovery was going. And my vet said, well, there's a very good chance that that last stone that was stuck, not stuck, but was in her urethra, maybe passed on Monday and Tuesday. And that's why she was grumpy and uncomfortable again which makes sense and they checked her urethra to see if the incision that they had to make was healed and it looked healed and she looked completely normal downtown so there was no redness swelling or anything bad which is great uh, she's still on her antibiotics so there shouldn't have been any problem with that but she just wanted to check anyway. So that was positive. Uh, she was her same weight as usual, which is very positive. And today she seems pretty good. We do have to go for another bum bath. Honestly, guys, I have washed her bum more than I changed my underwear. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. But it's been like at least twice a day, every day for... I don't know how many weeks so I'm hoping that if she did get that stone out Monday Tuesday that she's going to go back to not peeing herself again that will be so nice for her to have a dry bum I just can't wait but otherwise she's eating well she's drinking well Monday, Tuesday was really the only two days that were a setback where I was really worried about what's going on. But after I talked with my vet, I felt better about it. So it's been um, some stressful times. It's been like basically a month and a half since she was officially diagnosed with the stones in her urethra. So now the biggest thing is going to be, can we keep her from having more stones? Which, who knows why she made those stones in the first place. So that's the biggest thing that scares me. But I can't think about that every single day. I just have to enjoy Seeing her happy and comfortable 
and hopefully that'll last. But we'll just take it as it goes, right? It's always so hard once they've had stones to not be terrified every single day that it's gonna happen again. But I don't know, something I've kind of learned with having pigs is you just gotta take it as it comes and you can't stress about something every single day. So it's kind of like Pecan and her bloat issues. They're just got to a point where it's like, it's gonna take it one day at a time and we'll deal with whatever's happening that day. So I'm obviously gonna be as careful as I can with Apple's diet. Uh, make sure I see her drinking lots of water. I am going to be giving her the Sherwood urinary tab every single morning and night. We have been doing that just in case that helps. Who knows? So yeah, there's not really much that I can do different because it wasn't like, oh, we're feeding crazy things that we needed to change or it wasn't like their water isn't already filtered and what have you. So I don't know. It's a mystery. We'll see how things go from here. But I really can't wait for her to get back to not peeing herself. It's absolute torture just seeing her with a wet bomb. I hate it. She's getting pretty decent about giving her a bath though. And I only bath what part she needs to be bathed, so like her belly and her bum. So it's not too bad and it doesn't take us long. And if you've seen uh, my videos for giving guinea pigs a bath, I use a hair dryer. So that's worked well for drying her off quickly. So it's not too painful. We're usually done in about 10 minutes and then she gets to go back into her cage like nothing happened. So in the evenings, what I do is just sweep up all the poops and I change out any bed pads that need to be changed, any pads where the hay that needs to be changed, I fill waters and give them more hay and that's kind of about it. Oh, in case you're wondering, I do have some blue gloves on. So I am allergic to guinea pigs and their hay and right now it is bothering my hands something awful. At work, I have to wash my hands like a million times a day. And in winter, it's so dry that my hands crack. So I had some cracks on my hands that just get aggravated insane with a touching the hay. And then they turn itchy and I get like allergy bumps on them. And it's a whole vicious cycle. Like they'll start to look better and all of a sudden they'll just be so itchy that I can't help myself and I just scratch my hands, same person. So, I am trying to wear gloves until my hands heal because otherwise I'm just gonna make a big mess of my hands. I'm also gonna wear my gloves while I bath apple. So when you're allergic to guinea pigs, it's the dander and it can be the proteins in their urine or saliva that bothers you. So right now with apple being pretty much a little pea mess, it bothers my hands. And then when I'm bathing her and getting her underneath, I usually have her held up to my chest and neck. And just touching my neck and chest, she causes me to have major allergy bumps right now. So I can't wait for her to not be covered in pee anymore for her sake and for mine so that I can handle her without having bad allergic reactions. So I'll show you guys her bath once we get to that. I just got one little section here. You can, don't you, the post? It's always pecan chewing that. She's so funny. Yeah, so I'll just be two more seconds and then we're going to give her a bath and I can show you guys that. 
even though I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but whatever. So I have been putting coconut oil on her bum to try to stop her from getting urine spilled. So I put a whole pile on her this morning. So her fur just looks like a greasy, dirty mess. But hopefully that coconut oil will help wash out the pea stains. That looks terrible too. Because it's right where her white fur is, of course. So the orange, dirty bum doesn't look good. Okay, so we're going to move on to bath time. Okay, so in the sink here I have a fleece pad so that she has traction. Things are kind of messy on this side are fleece pads that I need to wash that I've used every other single time so they're soaked. The shampoo we use is always the same kind and gentle shampoo from Gorgeous Skinnies. And then on the far side I have our drying station so I'm going to get Apple and we'll get started. Okay so I have Apple so her bum like this has coconut oil so it looks worse than it is. It looks all greasy here, but it's right around this area that gets so gross. So first I'm just going to get my water up to temperature on the other side, and then we'll get started. You're okay. Okay. It's okay. Just relax. Just relax. So one of Apple, Apple's things that she absolutely hates is when you have her flipped. She just hates that with a passion so that's always when she freaks out. So I'm just gonna get her bum mostly and then underneath. You're okay. Make sure I get all down her legs because she's had pee everywhere pretty much. You're okay. You're okay, sweetie angel. Okay, so now we're ready to rinse. You want to make sure you're rinsing them really thoroughly. Get all that shampoo out so that you don't irritate their skin. It's okay. You're okay, hon. You're okay, you're okay. The same thing every day. I got to flip ya. Hold on. Gotta make sure all the soap's out. Good girl. Okay, next station. Let's let her drip off here for a second. Oh, I was really dumb. I didn't grab a towel. How stupid of mommy. Okay, we'll move ya. I'm actually saying enough. Have to carry her over to a towel. I can't leave her on the table. Sorry, Apple. I wasn't prepared. Okay. 
So it's best to do a towel dry her off a bit or else it takes forever with the hair dryer. She's really soaked. I know you are just angry. Can you hear her annoyed chatter? You're okay, we're just getting you a little bit dry. I know, this just stinks, doesn't it? Okay, next station. So this is always a bit easier. We're gonna do the hair dryer. Just a second, sweetie. Here we go. Feel okay? What do you think? You all fresh and clean? So you guys can get to your pellet dish. You all good? Oh, bless you. I don't know if you can see, but I probably have all allergy marks right here from her touching me. Can you see it? I don't know. I guess I'll look back when I'm editing if you can see. But usually she makes my whole chest all super itchy. Who else is allergic to their guinea pigs? It stinks. Wash time. I already cleaned you. I love. You feel better? I hope you do. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!